Hi guys, hope you're all well. If you're new to Siege Studios, we're a premium miniature painting service with over 30 artists. Here at Siege we offer four painting levels, ranging from our bronze, premium gaming quality, up to our platinum competition standard. For your free quote today, follow the link in the description of this video. Hey guys, hope you're all well and welcome to this Chaos Army Commission Showcase. Uh, we have so many awesome models for you to check out today in this video, so make sure you watch it all the way through. Um, starting off as we ever do with all the characters from the army, uh, this project has been completed by Simon, one of the artists here at Siege. Uh, a really cool kind of half Night Lords, half sort of Empress Children, Sonesh kind of um, kind of army, which is really, really cool. Uh, let's jump in, have a look. We've got, uh, we'll start with what, probably one of my favorite models, which is obviously the Dark Apostle. Um, you can see he's got a rather extravagant plume of hair, um, just obviously a top knot, which is really cool. Um, again, this really, really nice sort of peach kind of pinkish kind of armor color, which is just awesome uh, with loads of sort of uh, contrast and transitions towards the lower portions. Um, I do really love the teal that complements kind of like the pinky whites and on the uh, on the models as well. We've got the flaming book uh, as on this model, which is really cool with all the blood dripping out of it. Uh, you've got all the sort of flames on the backpack as well. And we've got this lovely, lovely kind of glazed armor, which has just got loads of sort of subtle tonal variation on it, which is just great. Really cool black cape as well with a blue hue to it as well on the upper portions, just a bit of a contrast in color which is just really nice uh, again really really well executed uh, again every little detail fully painted as uh, to a super high standard so that's this awesome dark apostle uh, we'll jump across and have a look at his two lackeys uh, we've got obviously a book man uh, or book carrier as I call him um, just again a really cool little model uh, just obviously just uh, well he's got no choice really in carrying that book it's chained to him uh, but uh, but yeah really really nice uh, little miniature with obviously those little candles on the top there which is great uh, again just really really cool and a big sort of uh, grill on the front brain keeping with Sonesh and sort of noise marines and things um, we've got the chap that carries the uh, the brazier which again is a really really cool little model uh, got that lovely sort of teal bluish flame uh, just obviously coming out of there that flaming skull which is just awesome so that's just him um, We've then got one of the new uh, Chaos Space Marine Sorcerers. Uh, I say new, but it's been out a while, but uh, this is the Chaos Space Marine Sorcerer. Again, a really cool model. Uh, again, you've got that same kind of pinkish peaches kind of colored armor, which is just great. And then obviously we've got this uh, this black cape here as well with that blue hue in it. And I love all the sort of teal accents on the gems and sort of uh, bits of energy that are just uh, sort of uh, exhuming from different things. He's got lovely sort of subtle hand glow there, as you can see, just on the uh, on the hand of that icon that's just uh, sort of manifesting in his hand. And you've got his eyes are obviously glowing blue as well, which is just really, really cool. Uh, so that's the Sorcerer. Uh, we'll then jump across and have a look at the Night Lords chats, because I want to save the Demon Prince till last. Uh, we have a Night Lords uh, sort of uh, Lord here with Jump Pack. Again, you've got these awesome claws. You can see all that free-handed lightning that's been done just across his armor. Uh, nice sort of little accents of red on the blue as well, just to really add a different color to the uh, sort of palette on this miniature. Uh, but again, I love the sort of teal claws that he's got. That teal color really nice. looks works really well with the uh, the red. Uh, nice to see something a little bit different, some red trims there on the Lord as well, which is a little bit different, but uh, really, really works. Uh, and gives uh, this chap a bit more of an evil look, I think. And you can see the lovely saturated warm golds that are just on the uh, sort of shoulders there and all the little details on the backpack or the jump pack, should I say. Uh, as we move around the back, you can see all the vents and sort of uh, pipes and everything all fully painted. Uh, and again, you've got that sort of uh, brown leather sort of belt that he's got all with the texture just painted on there, if I can get that to focus for you guys. Uh, all the skulls and everything done uh, with lots of shading and contrast on them also. We've got this awesome base with a huge set of pipes on it as well. So again, a really, really cool um, Night Lord's Lord. Then we have a Master of Possession. Um, uh, for the night for the night lord side of this force again you can see that lightning there just free handed on the armor uh, again use nice use of red just to uh, contrast against that blue we've got those uh, sort of tealish bluish kind of flames on the backpack and also in his hand that flaming skull do really like the uh, lenses and the sort of eyes on here that are glowing in that teal as well which just really works uh, for the miniature and again you've got all the feathers done there with nice subtle transitions from blue to white on those as well which just uh, really really works and looks great uh, so that's the uh, master possession from the night lord side of the force uh, and then we have uh, the demon prince again a really cool model um, obviously it's quite a, a quite an older model but just still holding up uh, and looking great uh, again you can see his uh, his armor obviously in that same sort of peach kind of pinkish kind of colorway um, looks like obviously his armor is made out of flesh which i think is really really cool 
you've got all the little details like the faces and things that are obviously on the armor all with eyes and everything all the teeth and everything fully painted again nice splash of sort of uh teal or turquoise on here as well just to complement and contrast against that sort of uh, peachy pink armor color uh, or skin color whichever it is um and again you've got these massive wings and this sort of sort of really really dark black with uh, nice blues and grays just uh, just done to uh, to sort of highlight that uh, but again, really, really cool Demon Prince. Looks very cheeky. Um, he's up to some shenanigans, undoubtedly. And they've got this awesome kind of like uh, industrial kind of uh, hive city kind of basing on this as well. Uh, and occasional skulls and things on the bases. You you could not have a 40k model without some skulls on the base. Uh, so that's all the characters from this army. Guys, we've got loads of other miniatures to show you. So get excited. There's plenty more coming. So guys, let's have a look at the Noise Marines from the Force. Uh, there's 30 of them. There's lots of sonic weapons and uh, a really nice set of different sorts of miniatures. Uh, so I've done a great job of using the uh, current Cow Space Marine kit, combining uh, the Noise Marine parts uh, to then create uh, a really, really cool uh, sort of Noise Marine, more sort of upscaled uh, to match sort of like the Primaris. Uh, but yeah, really, really cool. Again, you've got this really nice pink fleshy kind of uh, cream kind of skin color on the armor, which is really, really nice. Uh, this chap's obviously got a black helm. We use different heads on these guys um, just to give them a bit of a different look as well. But really, really well executed, just these noise marines. Again, I'm going to pull forward quite a few of them so you can have a look. We've got this chap here that's just running forward. Um, again, really, really well done. I like the use of different colors uh, on the miniatures. Like, for example, the turquoises that you saw in the character so earlier, the nice texture and detail on those sort of leather gloves that he's wearing. Uh, you've got the green lenses on his helm as well. I love the uh, sort of sections of armor that are in black as well. So there's just a bit of variety to the miniatures, which is great. Uh, but overall, a really, really good execution on all of these uh, these noise marines. Uh, so I'll pull forward a lot of them. We'll have a look at this champion here, just so you can have a look at him first. Uh, he's got quite a cool uh, chain sword here with some chevrons on it, which is just awesome. Uh, just blasting away with his bolt gun. Uh, again, nice use of black uh, armor panels as well as obviously the fleshy, pinky, kind of creamy kind of areas of armor as well. But I love the sort of uh, tonal variation on those pinky, fleshy parts as well with the darker portions towards the bottom. Um, pull forward one of the normal chaps with a bolter as well, so you can see him. Uh, again, just shooting away there with his bolt gun. Uh, nice attention to detail on the leather, nice texture all painted on there also. Uh, but again, really, really nice set of details, all fully painted on these miniatures. So that's just one of the regular bolter wielding chaps. I'll pull forward this guy so you can have a look at him uh, with another blast weapon here. You've obviously got all the sort of damaged metals on that weapon as well, just to show how old they are, which is awesome. Again, just move that around so you can see the uh, all the sort of highlighting that's done on different areas of the armor paneling and detail work on the miniature. Um, I'll jump to a couple of the other squads just so you can see some of the other miniatures. I'm going to pull forward all 30 because there's obviously 30 of them. But uh, I'll show a nice selection of them for you to have a good look at the uh, consistency from model to model and uh, just the really awesome work which uh, Simon has done on this project. Uh, so I've got this chap here with the icon. Uh, if I just pull him forward so you can have a look at him. Um, again, he's just blasting away there while firing. So like a bit of an icon on his backpack, which is cool. Uh, he's got this chain sword here in the uh, in the ground, maybe to represent that he could be used as a champion or something as well. I don't know, uh, but just really, really well done. And uh, do love the sort of desaturated bases. Obviously, you've got this grayscale basing on these just to, uh, they're very bright, obviously, as miniatures anyway. So to have a bit more of a grayscale base just really makes the model stand out more. Really like this chap here, just advancing there with that sort of flesh helm that he's got. And then you've obviously got the green lenses just painted on there. Um, I do love how the new Chaos kit makes the Chaos Marines look more ragtag with like sort of uh, rather than all having clips or having feeds of, of, of rounds and stuff like that. Just a lot of variety in the models. Uh, I'll pull forward the other champion here so you can have a look at him. Again, he's really, really nice. Uh, again, you've got those chevrons there just on that chainsaw and uh, a poor Blood Angel on his backpack. Very unfortunate. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, really good use of colour on the uh, sort of turquoise and blues just to complement and just to uh, just make those areas of detail stand out on the models. Uh, and then we'll pull forward one more chap here at the back with a bolter uh, just to show you a different miniature in the army. Again, he's just got that really cool feed of ammunition there, as I mentioned. And uh, yeah, really, really good set of, uh, of models uh, to uh, give a solid 30 noise marines for this force. Uh, so do hope that you like them ever so much. Uh, we've got loads more coming up, guys. So make sure you watch all the bits on this video.
So next, let's have a look at all of the Terminators and Obliterators from this really, really cool Emperor's Children themed force uh, of this commission. Um, again, 10 Terminators, and then we've got obviously three Obliterators. One of the Obliterators is slightly converted to make it a little bit different. Really, really cool uh, little conversion that's been done on it. Uh, so let's jump in, have a look at these awesome, awesome Terminators. Again, you can see that really lovely kind of like skin, kind of uh, pinkish peaches kind of color on the armor. Uh, lots of black accents, which are really cool on the trims, the head, and also on the weapon casings, which are really cool. Again, you've got that blue uh, complementary colour. It just really works with that kind of skin colour as well. So let's just pull forward. Uh, I think the ones with the more black sort of uh, parts on them, I've kind of decided they're just the champions. So I've stuck them kind of in the middle of the front rank. Uh, we've got that like, skin stretched across there, like close combat weapons, like those chain axes there, as you can see. Uh, but again, really, really cool miniatures. And uh, Simon's done a phenomenal job on these. Uh, so let's just pull forward a nice selection of these for you to have a look at. Again, we've got another chap here just blasting away with his combi bolter. Uh, again, you've got all that sort of fur and detail work all fully painted and picked out on the uh, sort of midriff of this terminal or the trophy racks with loads of little sort of skulls and helms and things. We've got a Space Wolf helmet on that one, for example. Um, but again, really, really cool uh, execution. And I do thoroughly, thoroughly love this project. Again, I've said it previously, but it's just one of these uh, armies that I'm, I'm just very sad to see leave the studio as uh, I really do love it ever so much. Uh, nice amount of chipping and scratching just on these close combat weapons. We've got a Dark Angel helmet there just on that head, uh, on that trophy rack. Um, and then you've got all the other little details like the skulls and fur, as I mentioned already, just uh, all fully painted and multiple stage highlighted. Again, love that the lenses are done in the green as well, just to uh, really go nicely with that kind of uh, pinky color as well, which works really well. Uh, I do like this chap here at the back with the tusks and the, uh, the, the sort of black head that he's got there. I love the little sort of uh, end caps on the tusks in black, it just works really nicely. Uh, but overall, a really, really cool set of Terminators to, uh, to add to this force. Then we have the three obliterators. And again, these are really, really awesome. Awesome. Uh, again, these are from the Shadow Spear box. I'm sure a lot of you guys know. If you don't, then they came with the Shadow Spear box that was released quite some time ago. Um, really nice to have some plastic obliterators uh, just to have you know, a really bit of character to them. Again, all the teeth and things there on this one fully painted around that head. Uh, you know, lots of black sort of accent details like you'd expect from the rest of the force. All the pallid kind of skin colours as well, fully painted there, as you can see, really nice and sort of pale. Um, we've also got these chevrons here, these checker pattern chevrons on here, which are really, really cool. So, um, so just nicely executed on those, super sharp and all done by hand. Again, you've got the teal lenses and eyes and things just on some of the areas of this miniature, uh, which is really, really good. Uh, and then we'll have a look at the uh, the slightly converted one, which has got uh, an almost Among Us kind of head on it, which a lot of people in the comments on socials were saying it looks like a, it's a combination of an obliterator and one of the characters from Among Us. Among Us, which is quite funny. Um, Simon done a nice conversion job on this to make it a little bit different from the other two, uh, as obviously in Shadow Spear, you only got two different sculpts or, or sort of poses. So we made a slightly different one here for our client, uh, just so it makes a nice sort of unit of three and they all sort of look a little bit different within unit. Again, really well executed. You've got those chevrons just on there and a nice extra amount of black on this chap also. Uh, just really, really works well with that kind of pinky skin color uh, on the armor. And then we've got this really pale and pallid kind of uh, flesh color just on the rest of the stretched sort of muscle structure and sinew, which is really cool. Uh, then we have a look at the uh, the final of the three obliterators, just blasting away there with his gauntlet mount weapon let's just get that to focus for you guys there we go um really really well done i love the blue sash i think it just works extremely well i love the motion in the miniature where it's swaying as he's stepping forward as well which is quite cool like the winds just sort of gusted that up which is quite nice extra little gems and things done in the greens and blues as well just across the miniature and scattered you've got the lovely sort of bluish plasma glow there just on the uh, the plasma on his shoulder and uh, again some more little chevrons just there on that gauntlet as well just to add that sort of yellow colorway to this miniature uh, but absolutely love these really really cool miniatures uh, and nice to have uh, because of that conversion three different ones in the uh, in the army so yeah so i do hope you like all the terminators and obliterators from the force we've got even more to come so stick around so another troop unit for this force and more infantry, we've got loads of cultists. Now these are all the Blackstone Fortress cultists, a really, really great set of miniatures uh, just in their sculpts, let alone obviously all the painting that's been done by Simon across these. Uh, nice, great selection of weapons, got some flamers in there, got obviously a lot of las guns, got some sergeants or champion unit champions with chainsaws. So let's pull them forward and have a look. And we can't forget the little commissar here as well, the fallen commissar, the absolute biggest traitor and heretic in this uh, project. Uh, we've got this commissar 
missile here with that power fist and bolt pistol. He looks extremely angry there, as you can see. Uh, but really, really well executed by Simon. All the super, super clean highlighting done across the armor, the, the coat that he's wearing, the skin, uh, and the little banner that he's got there on the back. But really, really well done. So that's just the uh, the, the sort of leader of this uh, group of nasty heretics. Uh, then we'll start putting forward some of these really cool cultists. Again, just this guy charging forward here with that slash bit of metal and uh, the last pistol. Um, and again, I won't pull them all forward, obviously, because it's quite a substantial amount. But I thought I'd just pull forward a nice selection of them so you can see how good these cultists really, really are, both in the sculpt and the phenomenal job that Simon's done on them also. Uh, just really, really well done. I'll pull for one of the flamers so you can have a look. I do love those goggles there with that really cool greenish, bluish kind of uh, goggle that's uh, glass that it's got on there. I love all the rust effects and things just done on the flamer also. But really, really, really well done. And uh, a nice sort of grey armour colour as well, just in keeping. They can be used with any uh, Chaos Force as well as a result of the armour colour that they've got. They're, they obviously, you've got Emperor's Children and uh, some other nasties in this uh, in this army project. But uh, but just really, really well done for the overall execution and the choices of colours. Obviously, the red might possibly denote that they are affiliated to Corn, maybe, but we shall never know. Um, really, really great selection of models, as I've mentioned quite a few times. But just uh, do love the poses and things like this chap throwing a grenade here is you can see uh, with a pin in the other hand uh, but that's a really nice set of cultists to uh, to add to the rest of all the infantry on the force uh, so hope you like them ever so much so to finish up this awesome army commission which we've had the absolute pleasure of working on for our clients we have some night lords to throw in the mix with all of the emperor's children which you have seen uh, a really great selection of models to uh, to add even more evilness to this project and army on the tabletop um, we've got great set of models we've got some warp talons two models being used as cow spawn and then we have the hell drake as well uh, so yeah really really great set of miniatures I do hope that you're going to like these uh, Simon's done a phenomenal job in painting these uh, really really awesome night lord models uh, very menacing you've got obviously that midnight clad armor there these teal bluish glowing claws which are awesome all the lightning free-handed on them also as you can see every little skull and detail painted fully on the miniatures which is just really really lovely um so that's just one of the walk talons. We've got what I've decided is the champion because he's got a bear head with uh, demonic talons growing out of him, out of his head, which is really cool. Again, he's just landing there. Uh, poor little Blood Angel there on the base, unfortunately. Uh, another little sort of dig there to that rivalry between the Night Lords and the Blood Angels. Um, and then we've got obviously these really cool sort of talons, as you can see, just obviously with that nice transition from sort of a, a nice teal to a black on the tips, which is just really, really cool. Again, but really well executed, uh, paint, fully painted all the way around, every little bit of detail all done sharply and cleanly, which is what you'd expect with us here at Siege. Uh, I'll pull forward a nice selection of them from both squads just so you can have a look at them. I love this sort of landing and sort of slashing pose that he's got which is just great. Jump across to the other squad just so you can see the consistency from unit to unit and miniature to miniature but all really nicely done. Um, do absolutely love these shoulder pads as well. They've got the, like, these vent things on them so it actually looks like speakers so it could be very in keeping with the, uh, the noise marines that we've seen. Um, then we've obviously got the other champion here. Just again, a really, really well executed miniature. Uh, nicely done. Just super sharp highlighted all the way around. Uh, all the little bits of detail fully painted and edged and done. And we've got this, again, that really cool kind of urban kind of basing just with little bits of pipe and metal just on the floor, which is just great. Uh, another one of these awesome raptors here, as you can see. Or uh, warp talent, should I say. Uh, but yeah, just really, really, really well done. Uh, so that's just an awesome set of miniatures. Then we've got these two really cool cow spawn models. Um, just Obviously, these are Age of Sigma models, but they're just being used as, uh, as cow spawn. Uh, very in keeping with the Night Lord's theme here, as you can see. But I absolutely love the transition just on the wings and all the detail work that's been on the muscular structure of the actual creature Got that really cool sort of raw pink sort of hide down on the back with all those bones that have erupted from the back of the miniature or of the, of the model or, or sort of demon which is really really cool um just a great great miniature to use as um as obviously a spawn for night for night lords uh, and obviously we've got another one a secondary one as well which is just really really nicely done also Again, just really, really well executed. Uh, again, every little bit of detail work fully painted on this. And again, I do love the uh, the sort of subtle sort of grayish, bluish hue on the wings as well on the sort of raised areas, uh, which is really, really nice. So that's just one of these awesome, awesome spawn models. Uh, and then to finish up, we have the obligatory um, obligatory uh, uh, Helldrake, which is just a great model, a really, really nice model to, uh, to sort of finish off the, the project. Um, I've always liked the uh, sort of uh, Heldrake model. Uh, again, just really, really well done. 
I do specifically love these uh, Nostraman runes that are just on the uh, the wings here, as you can see in that red section, which uh, Simon's done. Really nice uh, sort of uh, showing there of actually using a little bit of the lore and background and using some of the sort of Nostraman runes just on that wing, which is cool. Um, and you've obviously got all the lightning, which has been freehanded across the whole entire area of this miniature. Uh, just really, really well done. Lovely execution of that freehanded lightning across all the wings. Uh, looks extremely menacing as a as an actual model. Um, not not to mention obviously all the spikes and things that are on it. But you can see the metalwork has got nice scratches and chips and things that are also done on it as well, which is really cool. Um, again, extremely evil looking. Got this really cool greenish kind of glow there, or just on the eye, on the head. And again, you've got those bluish hued claws just to keep matching, being keeping with the rest of the uh, the miniatures in the force. Uh, again, you've got this really cool kind of urban sort of destroyed land uh, city kind of scape basing, which is just great. Um, yeah, really, really well executed and a great miniature. Uh, I do really like the little sort of uh, the sort of catch lights just in on the end of these claws as well here in this like a off yellow kind of color, which just really, really works with that turquoise. And uh, yeah, all the bone work with nice attention to detail on that and nice shading and highlighting on there also. Uh, so yeah, that's the Hell Drake to, uh, to swoop in with the rest of these Night Lords and absolutely tear someone to pieces on the battlefield. I do hope that you like them ever so much. Uh, a really, really cool additional force uh, just to add to these Empress children. And uh, their whole entire army is now off to raid pillage and plunder. I wouldn't want to be in their way. I'll see you on the next one. Take care. So thanks for watching the video guys, I hope that you have enjoyed it. While you're here on YouTube, help us out by subscribing to the Siege channel. We upload at least three videos a week, so make sure you hit that bell icon to be notified when a new video is live. To see more, go follow us on our other social media where you can keep up to date with what we get up to and interact with us. If you're looking to learn from us, we offer online tuition on Patreon and physical classes nationally in the UK. Finally, to get your free quote today, click the link in the description of this video. From all the team here at Siege and myself, a massive thank you for watching the video and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.